The Eagle Impact Award is a new award to be presented annually to recognize individuals who and organizations that have demonstrated exceptional leadership and service in advancing the mission of Grand Rapids Christian Schools. Eagle Impact Award recipients have used their gifts and resources to enrich our programs, strengthen the professional capacity of our faculty and staff, and make Grand Rapids Christian education accessible to more students and families. In doing so, they have made lasting contributions to the Grand Rapids Christian School community and have impacted students for generations to come. The first recipient of the Eagle Impact Award is Tom Welch, president of Fifth Third Bank. He and his wife Lori have demonstrated a genuine, authentic commitment to the value of faith-based education. They have made significant impact in the opportunities that we can make available to students, and they're wonderful ambassadors of Grand Rapids Christian. Uh, my first impression was a very polished banker, uh, professional, you know, brought to town to lead a bank. He's actually a big-hearted teddy bear who uh, has got his mind and heart in the right place. And we've had a lot of deep, really deep conversations. We started becoming lunch partners right after that, just because we got along so well. Uh, it began as sort of a professional interaction. I mean, we were building neighbors, and we approached Fifth Third about the potential to partner on a collective interest in improving a bit of real estate. And through that initial conversation, it, it became evident that, you know, Tom, I mean, was a man of great vision and uh, somebody who, who saw possibility in, in everything. Tom and I have really developed a very close you know, working relationship that has really gone into just trusting each other. What propels him is the idea that the bank is a servant of the community and uh, that it's our responsibility to help make our st community stronger. He's one of those guys that uh, that you want to do well for. You want to exceed his expectations and you just, uh, yeah. I think Tom Welch makes me a better person. Tom will tell you that he gets up every morning to uh, help strengthen families and build stronger communities. I really think Tom is uh, sincerely interested in how people progress and uh, willing to do whatever he can to help you succeed. He has a real servant's heart. And, uh, you know, truly, if we're, if we're called back to faith, if we're called to lift people up, then uh, the best way to do it is to show them that you value them by uh, giving them your all. Tom is fundamentally just a very real person. I, I remember years ago Tom describing the, uh, the, the making sandwiches every morning for 10 kids. So first off, it struck me that the president of Fifth Third Bank, kids, he's, he's making sandwiches in the morning for them, and they're taking a sack supper. Those were two things that I thought really let me know that Tom was grounded in, in a reality that you might not expect from the president of Fifth Third Bank. So he is a very fundamentally real person. I am in consistent awe of Tom and Lori by their ability to do everything they do uh, with that scale of uh, family. Um, and uh, I don't know how he does it sometimes, and uh, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan. When considering who should receive this inaugural Eagle Impact Award, Tom Welch's name rose to the top very quickly. He is an incredible individual. He has a wonderful ability to generate enthusiasm, to reflect his spirit and love and passion for the value of Christian education, and he's a wonderful partner of ours. We often talk about the importance of being the hands and feet of Jesus on earth, and that is one of our guiding principles, and I think that, you know, Tom embodies that. He's committed to a Christian education and I know his faith is very important to him and his family 
and uh, you know, really that's part of the reason why he's such a supporter of the Eagles. He's clearly interested in not a legacy for himself, but a legacy of leaving good things behind so that people are living better lives. And I think that's what we're called to do. That's, I think that they, we've talked about it, he and I. That's our faith in action. I wasn't surprised that he was getting this award. I think it's totally appropriate because this is somebody who lives out his faith. Well, Tom, I, I really want to uh, tell you how, how proud I am and uh, excited for you to be honored with the Eagle Impact Award. I know that uh, Christian education and access to education are critical things for you, and uh, it's fantastic that you're being recognized for your commitment to that. Tom, thank you for all you do for our community. Thank you for your friendship, for your mentorship. Uh, I am truly grateful for you, everything you do for our community, and uh, I am happy, so happy, that you and Lori have made West Michigan home, and uh, I love you. What a privilege to talk with you today. I wish it could be in person. As I'm sure you're feeling, while we're so oddly distant from each other, I miss the time normally spent with friends, extended family, and coworkers. And my family misses our Grand Rapids Christian Schools community. Once we get past this stay-at-home order, I don't think my kids will ever complain about going to school again. I am deeply grateful to all of you in our school community. First, for the honor of being selected as the inaugural recipient of the Eagle Impact Award. To be singled out from among this incomparably generous Grand Rapids Community Schools family is humbling. But also, and more importantly, Lori, our children, and I are privileged and grateful that we can call this place our school home. Some of you may know our story. For those who don't, after living our early years in Ohio, Indiana, and Missouri, my position with Fifth Third brought our family to Grand Rapids in 2014. As you can imagine, with 10 children, ranging from grade school to college age, our first priority was finding the right schools. But what does that mean? Excellent academics and extracurriculars, strong individualized student support services, a high level of parental and community engagement? Yes, yes, and yes. And fortunately for our community, we found these in all the Grand Rapids school systems we explored. But we found something much more here. This is not just a faith-based community. This is a faith-filled community. People here live their faith. Here, students have the opportunity to develop the confidence courage and hope needed to navigate life. How many kids out there have never seen examples of what confidence, courage, and hope look like? Would their future be changed if they did? Doesn't every child deserve that opportunity? And if they do, isn't it our responsibility to do what we can to provide that? I think so. That's what a faith-based education is all about. That's what this scholarship fund is all about. It tells kids, all kids, no matter who you are, no matter what your circumstance, you belong. Someone chose you. Someone said you have tremendous value. You are worthy of our investment. You are worthy of our time. You are worthy of our love. You are worthy of being chosen simply because you are God's child. That is the opposing force that can change a child's life. It's the force that stands in opposition to self-doubt. It stands in opposition to the bullies and the bad examples and the hardships that can drag a kid down. It stands for that kid who is asking, what is life all about? It gives that child, my child, your child, our neighbor's child, the confidence, courage, and hope to stand up and say, pick me, I can do this. Isaiah 6, 8 says it simply, Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? And I said, Here I am, 
send me. That takes confidence. The confidence that you are being led by something greater than yourself. It demands courage. The courage to raise your hand and take that first step. It requires hope. The hope that beautiful things await you. That's faith. And that's what Grand Rapids Christian Schools can do and has done for my kids. It's what they do every day for all their students. When we moved here in 2014, we had no connections other than the people I worked with. When you move to a strange land, so to speak, you remember those who reached out to you to make you feel welcome, to make you feel that you belong, like you were always meant to be there. Isn't that what Christianity is? As we stand together on Sunday mornings and receive the word of Jesus Christ, he is saying, you are welcome, you belong, you were meant to be here. He is the opposing force, and he is the example that we are asked to follow. Our family felt him when we first walked in the doors of Grand Rapids Christian Schools. We heard him say, you are welcome here. We heard him when we met with Superintendent Tom DeYoung. Our boys felt him when Jonathan Winkle and Jack Visser, the students they shadowed back in 2014, took them under their wings. When our boys walked the halls with their shadow students, when they met their teachers and principal, when they spent time with the other students, they could feel the courage, the confidence, hope, and love that existed within the school walls. This place has purpose. You know I'm with Fifth Third Bank. A bank makes loans, collects deposits, provides investment advice. Those are all very useful services, but they are not purposeful. There's a difference. David Van Andel taught me that. We had lunch together shortly after I arrived in Grand Rapids. I said to him, I'm new to town. I don't know a lot about your history, but I already know that John Canepa and Dick Gillette, my predecessors at Old Kent Bank, were special guys. What can you tell me about them? What David said stuck with me to this day. He said, they used the bank as a purposeful instrument for the community. I think about that every day. I ask, what can we do to strengthen families and build stronger communities? That's what gives us purpose. And that's exactly why we support the Eagles Fund. Similarly, these schools have purpose, and I'd argue that it's not simply education. The administration, faculty, and staff at Grand Rapids Christian Schools run exceptional academic institutions. The education our children get is second to none, but the purpose is something different. It doesn't come from a textbook. It comes from the heart and soul and faith of this community. Since 2014, three of our sons, Thomas, Paul, and John, have graduated from Grand Rapids Christian High School. Matthew and Catherine are current students, and Nicholas, Andrew, Caroline, and Alexandra are in the queue. I have no doubt that each has or will leave this place with the courage, confidence, and hope needed to say, choose me. They will walk out of the doors of Grand Rapids Christian Schools equipped to be the purposeful and opposing force in others' lives. Thank you for the role you have played in that. And thank you again for this award.